Hey guys, it's Fossil Dad, and I'm here in my secret laboratory. And I needed to show you guys this because I want to show you everything I can to do with ammonite and amylite. This, my friends, is a massive ammonite concretion. <clears throat> Take a look at this. Uh, you know, there's some scale. There's my hand. So you guys can actually see how big this is actual ammonite is. This ammonite was cracked from a concretion and we're going to get into that in a few minutes. But you know what? Let's actually see how big this guy really is. Uh, you know, okay, so we got one foot there, all the way two feet across. So 24 inches across. Massive specimen. Uh, this is definitely a female, uh, as females, of course, in the ammonite uh, kingdom, uh, animal kingdom, uh, were the largest of the two species between male and female. So this is our huge fossil here that fossil dad, I'm going to start working on this uh, specimen here. But again, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the creature itself. So come on down, all the way down here, you can actually see how thin this gets. So I'm showing you this. So this this piece right here, quarter inch and thinner all the way down. And you can actually see the spiral of the animal and how this animal forms. So it forms and then it grows chambers and it keeps growing out and out and out. And of course, bigger and bigger. So this is a 24 inch specimen. Uh, and of course, ammonites have been found as large as up to four to six feet in diameter so you know <laughs> I'll tell you what I don't want to be in the water if I were to see this you know way back 65 70 million years ago if I was in the water with this thing I'll tell you what I would freak out uh, this is where the body chamber would have been so uh, the tentacles would have come out here uh, you know between anywhere between two to four maybe even six feet so your animal here shell coiled and then the animal comes out here so you know just an absolute amazing specimen uh and again i, I wanted to show you this and again we're going to work and we're going to clean this up over time here and i'm going to show you guys that as you can see here we have a little part that needs to be repaired a little bit so we're going to go ahead and repair that uh, of course looking at this side of the fossil you can see that it's missing the center spiral so this is the center spiral or the perdisiconch. So uh, other examples we have of the center spiral would be in this little guy right here. You can see that spiral and there's your animal and there's your center spiral going all the way underneath. Now we can even spray a little bit of water on this guy and you can even see a little bit of color on it as well. So again, there's a, a really good example of the ammonite animal itself. Uh, really interesting. You can see the body chambers. There's even some crystal quartz that's forming, uh, that formed inside the concretion during the fossilization process. So, you know, really neat stuff. Uh, that is definitely the example of the prodisoconch or the spiral. And then this guy here as well. You can see there's the divide. And when I open it up, you've got both sides spray a little water on that and then you can see the positive and the negative so you can see how it all comes together and again uh, definitely a little bit of color but you know the specimen really shows that spiral of the ammonite animal uh, really cool stuff so this as i said earlier uh is the ammonite fossil now i mentioned a concretion so what is a concretion so this guy, and now we're going to lift this up. Here we go. Okay. Wow. I remember, 24 inches across. So now, let's see how thin this guy is. Beautiful specimen. Popped out of the concretion. So there is another side to the concretion on this side, and then another opposite side. So the animal lays within the concretion, and then the sides are formed around it. And we'll turn it around here. There's the other side. Absolutely amazing specimen. Uh, this thing was swimming around freely uh, in Alberta uh, through the Western Interior Seaway. 
of course, I reached us through that, and now you guys, we're all taking a look at how beautiful this animal is. Okay, so now we're gonna set this guy down. We're gonna flip it around here. We're gonna set this guy down. Okay, great. Okay, so as you can see here, now you can start to see some of the color. So as I've been scrubbing, uh, and you can see from the light and the different angles, how the color is starting to come out on that fossil. So that is the animal uh, in between the concretion. So what I mean by a concretion is, is here we have the outside plate. So come on over here guys and check out this outside plate. There's the outside plate. And you can actually see how big that is. Now you can see them both together there. So now I'm gonna demonstrate how this was found. Okay, so this plate is an outside piece on top. So the concretion was formed around the animal. So this, this plate here will be on both sides. So can you imagine that this probably was a, a 300 pound concretion at least, uh, at, at the very least, and this animal had to be cracked out of that concretion. So you can actually really get a scale to see how big uh, these animals can get. Uh, really amazing stuff, guys. Okay guys, so as we're going, you want to keep water, so how the sand sandpaper works is you want to keep this wet. And again, I'm just going in gentle circles. If you press too hard, <laughs> it's going to go. It's absolutely going to go or it's going to be burnt. And what I mean by that is you're going to see this bright gemstone. And it, the bright gemstone is actually going to disappear and it's going to get a lot darker. So you want to be gentle. You can't go too, too hard. And again, this process absolutely takes a long, long time. We're talking hours. Tons of pressure, guys, but you know, to be able to work on a fossil like this, I, it is just the most amazing thing. Okay, so now we're going to put a little bit more water on this. Okay, so come on in there and take a look at that. You can see this is the spot. This is the spot that I've been working on. And you can abs absolutely see that fire coming out. That's what we want to see. But we want to see that absolutely everywhere. So we're going to do one more spot here, right on the very edge here, and then I'm going to get out of the way, and I really want you guys to see this. Again, this process takes hours. You're going to rotate between different thicknesses, different grains, and, and different uh, types of sandpaper. You're going to go from fine to finer, and depending on the material, of course, this material stands up really, really well. Uh, but again, I am not pushing that hard. I'm just taking my time. This absolutely deserves the effort. Okay, come on over here. We're gonna spray some water on this here. Come on in there. Look at that. Okay, so it's update time. So I've been scrubbing these uh, fossils here for uh, many days now, so I need a break. So I wanted to bring you guys and show you uh, where I'm gonna leave off with these. So before, highly oxidized, so We've taken them through the scrubbing process of different grades of uh, grit on sandpaper, and we've certainly got some results. So uh, come on in, guys. Take a look. Let's spray some water on it so you can really get those angles. Uh, you can see that's the outside plate that I've been scrubbing here. Definitely see the greens, the orange transitions, and then, of course, the fossil itself. Uh, you can see that that is, uh, of course, the same kind of spread and color spread as the outside piece. So uh, definitely some great results so far, but uh, a long way to go. Uh, I showed you this fossil that we found, so you know what? I want to challenge you guys to see if you can show me fossils you found. So you know what? 
hit up our uh, Facebook page, like us on Facebook, uh, you know, watch our YouTube channel, and of course, check out our website at www.thefossilfamily.com. Uh, absolutely amazing. Tune in for the next episode where we're going to start to scrub this guy. We're going to repair this. And we're going to move on with these plates and we're going to clean them up. Uh, we're going to show you a whole bunch of other things. Production, we're going to show you the lapidary. We're going to show you saws. We're going to show you as much as we possibly can. Uh, and we're going to dive into this magical uh, creature, Ammonites. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay. I am so excited because I pooped myself. I went dirt fishing, essentially. Uh, we went out. Hey guys, it's Fossil Dad. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is you guys come over here by Daddy here, and we're going <laughs> to... Okay, you guys ready to go? Yeah. Okay.